Okay, wait a second. Let's let's start off where the day where the day began. This man right? is very real. Where the day began. I woke up and I woke up to two god dang days of xenogender discourse on twitter.com. Now, this is a crime against humanity, as I would like to call it. It's not cute. It's not fun. Uh, people are always giving the worst possible takes. It's incredibly annoying. And everybody's just yelling at each other. And everybody brings back like a transphobic discourse. It's, it's kind of cringe. Black block. It just worked out that way. This is the mask I typically wear in public. Do you like it that every time I talk, it moves? This it's kind of like it's real. a. It's kind of like I'm a cartoon character, you know. It, it just, it just, it just. So you know I'm talking, even though you can't see my mouth. I think it works out. So <clears throat> there are lots of posts, many posts. Okay, huge amounts of posts. I think all of them were like mostly cringe, and and I didn't say much. Okay, I, I really didn't say much, all the way up until. So all of this Discord started with um. Some little trans person who decides to post on Twitter has like, what is it? They're their xenogender. They go by she, her, and vamp, vampress. As far as now, for me personally, I really don't give a shit about any this of this. This meme is very real. Like, I, I couldn't care less. Neo pronoun users, gigapog. I personally like, I'm not here. It's the same thing. I'm not going to like praise you for using neo pronouns. I, I don't, I don't care. I'm not going to praise you for using pronouns or, or anything along those lines. But like, if you want to, I mean, go ahead. I don't care. But anyways, this basically started with like some little trans person who apparently like I identifies with vampires. And so added that to their like gender roster, basically, now that they feel comfortable enough to. And so because of that, they're now like xenogender and they like vamp vampress with their like close friends or whoever would like to call them that. When it comes to pronouns, right? Weird, but go on, I guess. Yeah, it's just like, okay. <laughs> All right. Doesn't, I mean, doesn't mean much to me <clears throat> personally. But this got a lot of people upset. A lot of people were mad. A lot of people were, were angry. A lot of people said that, that this is not trans, right? And there's, there's a lot of other stuff to it. But I didn't speak out until, uh, what was it? I think, I think it was a, uh, I didn't say anything until... Haas made some tweet. What tweet was it? Do you guys remember? I think it was. He was arguing with uh with this with this person for a little while until he went from I you can't identify as vampire. That's cringe. You're like a you're just you're just doing the uh the 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 Republican thing where it's like oh, you can't identify as a helicopter? Well, now all these, like, freak weirdos are identifying as helicopters. It's, it seems, it seems like the Nazis had a point. They were, they were just, uh, and you should have seen it. There was some tweet by, like, some little, by some person, and they were, like, they were, like, maybe, maybe, uh, they were, like, everything the SJW said back in 2016 was actually right. They're, like, what? They were, like, it's, it's right. <clears throat> Don't get clipped. I'm black. Okay. If you think, <clears throat> if you think that like somebody who would like try to cancel someone for saying something like that would see like a black person say that, I'm sorry. Okay. Whether you like it or not, the melanin does cancel out the canceling. Some of, some of you like pale skins, some of you pale skins may be able to, uh, maybe, uh, get caught up in that. But me, I'm able to slide. I don't have to worry about it. They're going to be like, oh, they're going to give me the benefit of the doubt. They're going to be like, oh, he's probably just memeing. He can't believe that. He's black. <clears throat> Works every time, boys. Works every time. What about gothics, though? But gothics has a bad reputation. The thing is, like, I don't, I don't have a bad reputation, though. I have a good reputation. Where's this Haas tweet? I want to show it to you guys. But anyways, he was like, um, I guess I can't find it. Uh, right now. Anyways, he was like, uh, if if you're a vampire, if you identify as a vampire, then uh, <laughs> I identify as a vampire hunter. Like, oh, come on. Come on. Yeah, I was looking for a screen, a screenshot. I saw the screenshot. 
It was a gamey moment. It is like a gamey moment joke. Yeah, it, it is a gamey joke. Yeah, it's deer hunting season type joke. Oh, and people being like, you know, the you know, the classic, uh, you know, the classic, you will never be a woman. But they said uh, you will never be a vampire instead. Very cool. Very cute. Very cute. I just I just love wheeling out all of the all of the anti trans uh, talking points and just and just uh, j just letting them fly just for fun. Right. But uh, I, I wanted to take a look at something really quick. OK, so this meme is very real. I decided to I that was the first time that I said something. I was just like, you know, I was just like, come on, bro. This isn't it really. But today I decided I woke up. And typically what I do now when I wake up is I go outside and I lay on the trampoline and it's typically like 10, 11, p uh, 11 a.m. And so the sun isn't at full strength yet. But I go outside and like, you know, in the morning before I do anything, really. And I let the dogs out and I just like charge in the sun. I just I just lay flat with my eyes closed um, and just like the and just let the sun rays just just hit me. I wear shorts and a, a short sleeve shirt to expose as much uh, skin to the sun as possible. You have a trampoline? I do have a trampoline, yes. Anyways, so I was charging in the sun and I was thinking, and I said, you know what, it's, it's time. And I thought, you know what, it's time to actually say something because I have like some, I have like strong enough opinions on this. For me personally, for, for me personally, I think, uh, I, I, I just don't, I just don't care that much about Xenogenders. I think a lot of people who, who talk about them, blow them up to be this way bigger thing than than it is, or think it's a problem hurting trans people. I do have to tell you, 99% of the trans people that I've met think that they're fine, right? And if that's the case, I'm starting to think maybe this isn't a problem with like, this isn't trans people who think it's a problem, really, but it's a lot of non-trans people who are going who are going in on this. And the thing is, the first time this discourse came around, uh, people were saying one of the big arguments were like, how am I supposed to argue with right wingers? And I don't think like a person's civil rights should be dictated on whether or not you can do a good enough Twitch debate on if you can do well in a Twitch debate, like defending their like humanity. You know what I mean? I, I don't think that should be like the bar. It's like, can I do I understand enough to be able to defend you in a Twitch debate? Yes or no. If no, then you don't get any rights. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't I don't think that's how that works. It seems like instead of changing people, you should change like how you understand and argue for these types of things, because it seems that seems like better. Right. And so we, we could talk for like a moment about this, because can, can I can I can I get a show of hands? Who doesn't know what the hell a fucking xenogender is? OK. You hear me say that word and you're just like, huh? Some people. Okay. First I've heard of it. Okay. <laughs> See no gender is not the alien from alien. Well, I did say show of hands. So this like, meme is you very know, real. a hand email here, press one. If you've never heard of a Xeno gender before, or you know very little about it, or you don't understand it really there, we'll, we'll broaden it out a little bit and, and we'll make it easier. I said one, what are you people posting to? I hate you people. You know that? don't understand much okay all right so so we, we, we can explain it a little bit because we have some people who do not understand much so the thing is uh what is a xenogender okay now i i will let you know that this is a pretty this is a pretty like esoteric thing that you probably you probably will never encounter somebody who like truly identifies as like a xenogender out out like getting coffee or something uh you may not even uh, like really encounter one when you're just like online they're very very small part of a very very small community to begin with right uh but that doesn't mean that they don't deserve rights i'm just saying that if you're looking to start to argue for like trans rights this is not the place where you start the thing is it's like um it, it's like arguing for like it's, it's like arguing for um medicare for all OK, like if somebody does not believe that the government should have any place in 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 like how the market is ran at all, then your likelihood of being able to get them on like Medicare for all before you do before you get that ground level, the government has a job to provide something to the people before you get there. You need to figure out that fundamental 
like groundwork to build the scaffolding to get them to understand xenogender. So if this is what you're doing, I must tell you, this is like, if that's what you want to do, I gotta tell you, this isn't going to be the place you do it. This is not how you argue there. And if you have somebody asking you about this, tell them you need to like go back to something. You need to like talk about something first to have them, to have them understand that, all right? This is very online discourse, sure. But it talks about like a bigger problem, okay, that we have, all right? Sure, it's like online, right? But like, there aren't that many trans people. Like if we're gonna, like if we're gonna be honest, like the whole trans debate for a large part is, is pretty, pretty online when it comes to simply just like, when it comes to simply just like how you treat your average trans person, like most people don't know any trans people. And that's fine, but it's still important to talk about their rights, right? Um, especially since they're like under attack. Uh, okay, right? So listen, listen, listen. I so here's the thing: what is, what is a xenogender? A xenogender is a flavor of non-binary that does not identify itself like the gender. The gender does not like describe itself by its relation to or distance from man and woman okay or like the bimodal distribution the binary whatever okay so that's that's what it that's just plain in plain words that's what it is it's not it's it's a flavor of non-binary it doesn't and the, the specific thing about it is that it doesn't define itself by its relation to like male female man and woman the genders that we like the the genders that we have and it's not the same as just like your average non-binary who's just like who kind of like mostly looks cis, but then wears nail polish sometimes or wears like, or wears like boy jeans. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that they're invalid. I'm just saying that they, you know, just, just their identity is, is closer to, and it's defined by its relation to the bimodal distribution. Right. And so like, what does that mean? What, what the hell does that mean really? Well, typically what that means for somebody is that what they're going to do is look for things in the world that uh, that speaks to them for the gender that they would like to identify as, right? So yeah, that person is going to look into the world for things that like, and people talk about like vibes. We can go, we can just run with vibe a little bit, okay? Sure. Let, let's think about this. So xenogender, okay? We're making one. Let's actually, let's start with uh, the basics. Let's start with a non-binary identity, okay? You wake up, we, we got any, we got any themperers in chat? We got any themperers in chat? Any, any non-binaries? We scooping up non-binaries? Me? Okay, so let's start with like a non-binary identity. Let's say you're born, you, you're born with a PP instead of a goober you know, identified as male at birth, you live that way, you turn 14 or something, you're like, this doesn't work for me. You start messing with your identity. You go by, you go by NB, okay? You go by NB, okay? Let's say, let's say that when you're, when you're vibing, when you're sitting there thinking to yourself, writing in your, uh, writing in your little gender journal, that you're like, I don't feel like a boy. And then you think, am I a girl? And you think, well, no. Or let's say you even spend some time, I don't know, like trying out some she, her pronouns or something like that. Some she, they pronouns. Huh? How, how's that sound? And that doesn't feel good either. Nothing feels good. And then you try to go with just like, you know, NB. How's that sound? Well, what does that mean? Well, it's like you're, it, it, you're, you're, you're like, uh, uh, it's kind of like the, the group next to the, the, the bimodal distribution, you know, it's kind of like, it, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of like the third gender. And so you're like, well, that's how people view it a lot, a lot, how a lot of people do. Uh, so you're like, well, that doesn't fit me really either. You just don't, none of that feels good to you. And so what you want, you have like certain traits and you have certain personalities and none of what we have already fits for how you feel. And so what you do is you start pulling from these traits and personalities in the world and you pull, pull together a little like ball that is yourself. And then you would like to as like ascribe it with something, right? Because as people, we love to describe things. We love to give things names. We love to put things in categories even. 
as, as much as uh some people don't like it i know i know we have some like gender fuck polyqueer tumblr refugees here who uh hate all categories uh ever but then get like really but they but then get like really upset when something in their room isn't in the like right alphabetical or like color color coordinated like a a spot that they want it to be in you know anyways anyways so with 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 all that said uh let's say you go by something that does speak to you right let's say let's say like forest let's say like what wh how you describe yourself right how you think of yourself elicits the ideas of like a forest okay something along those lines and what could that mean that could mean like a, that can mean like a bunch of different things it could be more like more like quiet reserved i don't know you could have like seasons with like your personality something along those lines it, it could be about it could be like a bunch of different things right whatever it means to that person and if you ask a xenogender person they'll like they'll you know be able to explain it to you but that's what that means to them and at the end of the day i will tell you this there isn't too much difference uh from just like interacting with a person uh from who's like non-binary and who's uh you know normie non-binary and who's xenogender like I i'll tell you this now there's not much identifiable difference between these people there, 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 like, really isn't. Like, at the end of the day, for the people who get really mad about xenogenders, what they're really this mad at is, real. is the idea of a, a, uh, uh, what, what they're, what they're really mad at is the idea of Fuck. like a non-binary identity with like a name. Like, at the end of the day, that's just like kind of what it is. It's just a non-binary identity with a name. A lot of the times, like a lot of non-binary identities don't have names. You just go, I'm non-binary. You know, just I'm non-binary and there could be even something more deeper in there. But like we're just explaining to people. Yeah, non-binary, whatever. Ruins the point of pronouns. Well, then change it. Heck a rule if, if it isn't like good to us. I don't care about rules if they're if, if they don't work. Like this whole like society thing is made to just benefit us. So if it's not benefiting us, we don't conform to like society. Society conforms around like the people. That's how it should work. That's what we're that's what we're building to do, like fuck unjust rules. It's just like here's here's the thing, okay? An entire subset of language is becoming useless. No, they're not pronouns. They're nicknames. Are you just memeing? They're in the place of pronouns, and they're used as pronouns for all intents and purposes. They're pronouns. Like neo, if we're talking about like neo pronouns, yeah, they're for all intents and purposes in language. They're pronouns. Like I, don't, I like I don't care about like if if it wasn't a pronoun before I don't give a shit like it it doesn't matter make it one just just make it one and then some people will go what do you mean just make it one just make it one that's how language works dog English is still alive it's still moving we're not talking in damn ancient Greek right now where we can't make up new words it's not a dead language it's alive it's living it's quivering all right. It's pulsating. Yeah, we made it up. Make it better. Yeah, we do not speak the English of yesteryear. It's just we, um, well, well, yeah, well, but neo pronoun stinky. Just there's so many words that didn't exist 20, 25, 30, 40 years ago. There's like, there's hundreds of words that didn't exist 50 years ago. Just because it didn't exist before does not mean it shouldn't exist now. That's not that's not an argument for why it shouldn't be a thing now. If it helps people and it makes sense, which it does, then it should be. Who cares? Who cares? This isn't hurting trans people. It's pretty easy to explain xenogenders. It's pretty easy to explain. Like if somebody's already bought in to the, the idea of trans people and they're not just like a, a trans medicalist, like it should be easy to the big problem is, is that it really feels like when we start talking about these things is that it kind of goes back to like trans medicalist arguments. It, it, it like really does. Here, here's this one thing to there was like a response to my tweet that I definitely wanted to look at. There's like a there's like a quote tweet. Yeah, they quote tweeted me and said I'm posting cringe. And then they uh, and then this is their pinned comment, their pinned comment. This is their unironic pinned comment. 
which I, I didn't know that you were going to talk about this shit so much that you're going to scour twi- uh, scour Tumblr and then like make a pinned comment about why you why you hate people with uh, Xeno genders. Like that shit sounds that shit sounds insane to me. That's some like that's some overly online shit, but that's just me personally. Just a reminder, Xenogenders are literally just a Tumblr meme started by a guy who came up with 14 different genders all in one day. So it's so what he means by meme is that somebody was theory crafting gender and decided to write what they were thinking online. That's what they mean by meme. All right. Including necrogender uh, and more they could not define. OK, maybe it means something to somebody else. Xenogenders, the dash con of LGBT. There's no science or academics behind it. What the fuck is science? What are you talking about? Science of your identity? What do you mean? There's no science behind the identity. What? I'm just. Je- Does anybody know? Does anybody know what this shit even means? Do you know? Because I'm not sure what they mean by science behind it. Unless they're just tra- unless they're just trans medicalist. Unless it needs to be written down in the DM5 for you to like believe it or believe somebody goes through it. It's more of like a it's much more of like a culture thing in the way that people identify. We know that people identify differently. We know that people aren't comfortable being described as a man or a woman. We know that non-binary people exist with all of that information. It seems pretty easy to understand that like people would want to identify differently. But anyways, they have a couple of pictures. So here's like, here's like this. And look, this is supposed to be a debunk of like xenogenders, apparently. I've done a lot of thinking about identity in terms of gender out of my own experience, out of my own desperation to come up with something that isn't necessarily a gender, but isn't something that's just partly boy or girl. This sounds like a lot of sense. This makes a lot of sense. Does this not make sense to you? Is this, is this, this person, this person's post posting cringe? It seemed like this person spitting straight facts. That sounds that's like that's better than I even thought about uh when uh when it comes to like uh explaining this type of stuff. It makes perfect sense. I don't want any I don't want to be defined as anything that's like part boy or girl and I don't want to have no gender. It sounds like the perfect opportunity to fill a hole that's needed in people's identity. And will that be a very small amount of people? Yeah, probably. Are, are you going to say there's going to be people who grow out of it? Sure, probably. There's lots of people who grow out of non-binary. There's lots of people who are messing with their with their like gender and then go by non-binary for like a couple months, a year, five years, and then drop it and then go and then go back to probably um, identifying as cis or like transition to something else. A lot of people do that. And that's perfectly that's literally perfectly fine. And you know what? Even the Xeno makes a lot of sense because it's alien. It's foreign. All of this seems to be making sense to me personally. It seems it's alien. It's foreign to like the bimodal distribution that we've built right now. And so Xeno, as in like Xenomorphs, as in like aliens, that makes sense. It makes sense to me. Makes a lot of sense. Like an alien gender, a gender that's alien to what we already understand. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, but apparently this is supposed to like debunk them. Xenogender coined in 2014 by Tumblr user. Who cares? Who cares? Did they invent the idea? Did this person in 2014 invent the idea of not wanting to be called a boy or girl or like part boy or girl? Did they invent it? Did they make it up? Was nobody on the planet thinking about this before this Tumblr user decided to start Tumblring? What the hell do you got posting? On Tumblr in 2014? No, the answer is no. The answer is no. So, I, I don't understand how this this makes any fucking sense. This seems like you're just really mad at people identifying differently, and you don't like it, so you started to like uh th- reach for pull any straws. I don't know, it just seems super simple to me. Does anybody does anybody like does anybody have any questions? What do you guys think? Who cares? The lesbian flag was literally popularized on Tumblr. Now everyone uses it. Lesbians were invented in 2014. That's true. And we can't put that uh, genie back in the bottle. Let Xeno gays be happy. Uh, We're talking about it mostly because people wanted to talk about it again. 
mostly because people just wanted to bully some like random trans person over their identity. That's basically it. Oh, and then a Destiny tweet. Oh, one last thing is that people keep saying there have been some people who say that this is like th this is like the the attack helicopter joke, but in real life now. No, it's not. And actually, genuinely, this is surprising to me that some people unironically think that this is like the helicopter joke in like real life. Can I explain and talk about how uh, xenogender means to me as someone who ideas is it? I appreciate you, but not not now. Probably when we're I was planning like a, a talk about like identity sometime in the future, and that seems like a good time for it. But yeah, I, genuinely, this surprises me that people unironically think that this is like the the attack. I I like the conservative that I identify as attack helicopter meme. It's it's so it's so strange because the whole attack helicopter thing is that like. Yeah, it, it like originated for that, but like a xenogender person doesn't think they're literally a, a helicopter. Like you guys know that, right? Like when you see a xenogender person and they're like, oh yeah, you know, frog, horse, bull, whatever, dragon, gender, whatever. They don't literally think they're that animal. Like, that's other kin people, more like more likely. Like they're roping in furries, other kin, xenogender, and I don't know, maybe some horseplay people, like pony play people as well. Or like those girls on like Instagram who pretend to be dogs. But it, it's genuinely surprising to me that people actually thought that. But just so you know, no. But just so you know, no. That's not, that's, that's, that's not it. That's not what's happening. Shark gender sounds pretty rad. I'm, I'm glad.